All right, Michael Vannon, and welcome back to Eric Quinn Caledrum and to another Tools of the Trade video. We're going to look at some more dice today. We're going to talk about some special symbols that we've had put on dice and why we've done this and a couple of key things that are coming up for us. On the left here, I've got a gold case that I picked up off the internet with some gold dice. We've used the gold dice for other things in the past, so they are no longer here. I've repurposed the case. And uh, this case has some real special stuff in it. So as we get ready to be Team Canada going to some of our international events, Here's the hobby we're representing oh so well. Tolkien, our hero who came up with so many brilliant ideas and so many great stories and great deep rich lore. Uh, we put a, a Tolkien logo on a Chessex die pattern. This is the Scarab Jade pattern from Chessex. A really deep, rich, vibrant green. It's got lots of tones and sort of uh, just deep, rich colors of life in it. So we figured that was an appropriate way to try to honor Tolkien. He seemed to have such a soft place in his heart for images of nature and other exciting things that support a good deep respect for nature. And then because of the War of the Ring and everything related to the War of the Ring, we've got a translucent yellow ring emblem here. This is the Tengwar poem, the one ring to rule them all poem. Again, a Chessex die pattern. And uh, particularly appropriate to our hobby, given the power the ring has in the game. This is the league that we are part of. This pattern is Chessex um, Gemini. The little Gemini series are two blended colors. This is black and red, Gemini black, red with the OSBGL logo. We keep all our logos on the sixes. And this one is our home league. And of course the red colors there, are, if we're gonna go to international events, we wanna represent our league well. So that's our colors for our international events. And we're pretty excited about that. And then here on the bottom, we've got two Canadian themed die. When we play for Team Canada, this is Chessex pattern red velvet. Oh, let's see if I can focus there. Um, the red velvet pattern is just, it's a really soft red. It's a really gentle color, and it's uh, its just great for us to see how it kind of blends. It carries the Canadian flag well, and it's just, it's a fairly simple pattern. It's not a solid red. It's got some blended shading and toning in there, and uh, looks really sharp with uh, white pips. Canada's flag and national colors are red and white. There we go. That's better focus now. So you can see the flag in there. Thanks to the Blackfire guys at Blackfire Productions for making those and these as good Canadians. This is our currency, believe it or not. Uh, in Canada, we affectionately have dollar coins we call loonies. And this is the loonie symbol. And um, when you take a look at our loonies and toonies, our $1 and $2 coins, uh, yes, we know that's kind of crazy sounding, but that's the way it is. For our international audience, we have $1 coins called loonies. So we put them on a yellow velvet die pattern. Chessex does all these die. We're very thankful that Chessex makes some great dice. And that's our our sort of fancy Team Canada dice. This is available as a prize at our Middler's Deadliest Heroes event coming up in the very near future, at the end of May. We're excited about that. And speaking of heroes, Middle Earth's Deadliest Heroes, Middle Earth's Hobby Heroes, here we go. A bunch of heroes that we have profound respect for who have deeply influenced our hobby. If I can get all these out of here without making a mess. This hobby started for me with a couple of these guys. Um, this is Shadow and Flame. So uh, Kev and Dave, you guys are incredibly talented people. I've got a whole collection of Ents that they made up. They make a splash every time they touch the internet. Their website is incredibly informative. Their product is super special. They are some of the most talented people in this hobby that I've ever seen. And uh, shout out to them. And they let me buy some of their dice a while ago. So <laughs> that's, that's one, one of our heroes of the hobby. Um, I am never going to be able to pronounce this right. My apologies to Andreas and your team in Norway. But STF does some fantastic work and has a ridiculously long list of videos that they have published. They are far more experienced than we are. And they have been sharing good news about our hobby for years on end and are continuing to be at the forefront of just watching closely at GW and Forge World and giving us all great news of what's going on. I'll tell you selfishly, I wish the only thing they did was Hobbit, but they do lots of good work in lots of other games too. So we love their Hobbit work. Here's another solid red version this time of the OSBGL, our home league, thanks to... Evan Israel, Evan Woodruff, um, Evan brother, I don't know which last name I should use for you. Evan's got a great story. And uh, so Evan and Jordan Giacinti are the two founders of the Ontario Hobbit League. They pulled together a whole network of great guys and the first generation of our admin team to run the whole show. And this is Evan's other die for his Hobbyist of Middle Earth channel on Facebook. Um, this is the Gemini Steel Blue pattern that you might have seen with a white tree symbol on it in a previous video that we've got. Really nice Chessex die, Chessex die pattern for that one as well. Here's the Blackfire guys. Good friends of ours who've done some great work supporting this hobby as well. This is a Chessex Gemini pattern. This is um, copper black. Oh, can I focus there? 
And again, just a really nice dye pattern this one is. And um, apparently I can't focus right now. My apologies. Yeah, the Black Fire guys also do a great job promoting this hobby and getting this story out, as do Ontario Hobbit Adventures. Some of you will have seen these dice on the GBHL channel. I love this pattern. This is a Vortex Green from Chessex. Just a really, really rich dye pattern. And um, really, really sharp blend of colors there. Let's see if we can get that to focus. And the OHA guys are fabulous gentlemen. They're super talented people. Um, if there was anybody else I would put up at the Shadow and Flame level, I would say these guys do the best terrain I have ever played on. And it's a lot of fun to play with them too. Just great character guys. And we're humbly throwing ourselves in there too. This is us, Eric Quinn Caledrum. Our logo on the orange vortex die. The uh, symbol of the sacred fire, the symbol of the sacred light, the sort of best symbol for it is the sun. And the sun, of course, is a great burning fire millions of miles away up in the sky. So we figured that the vortex orange perpetual fire would be the right die symbol for that one. So here you have it, our heroes of the hobby. And we're giving that one away as a prize at Middle Earth's Deadliest Heroes on May 26th in Ontario, Canada. You're all welcome to come. I know most of you are international, but hopefully this Tools of the Trade video was useful to you either way. We love our dice. This is a super set, a super important set of tools here. And here's some good looking dice and uh, some wonderful people that we get to game with and have learned and, and been inspired by. So thank you so much if you're one of our heroes. And for the rest of you, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll try to keep good content coming to you. Thanks very much, Michael Vonnen.